In this video, we'll be solving a trig equation uh, in which we have to isolate the argument and continue solving. The problem that we'll be doing is to solve tangent of 3 theta, subtract 1, equals 0. And we're solving for a domain theta between 0 and 360 including the 0, but not the 360. So our argument of our tangent function, we can't touch that until it's isolated, until we have it by itself. So our first thing to do is to add 1 to both sides. And these will cancel. And we have tangent 3 theta is equal to 1. Now we need to ask ourselves what angle will have a tangent of 1. Well, we know that our tangent is positive in quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. So we know that our angle, our 3 theta, has to be in one of these two quadrants or both. And so what we're going to do is list those angles um, that 3 theta could be equal to. Now for tangent to be equal to 1, our opposite and our adjacent have to be the same. So we have a 1, 1, and we know then that this is a 1, 1 root 2 reference triangle which means our reference angle is 45 degrees. So we have a reference angle 45 degrees in both of our triangles. So we now can state that our angle, the 3 theta, is equal to 45, or it could be the angle that's in quadrant 3, which is 225, 180 plus 45, so 225. Now we're not done here. I'm going to put a comma and then hold off on this because I'm going to have some more here. Because once I divide by 3 on both sides, I get theta is equal to 15 degrees. And then when I divide 3 theta is equal to 225, divide both sides there, I get theta is equal to 75. And you'll notice now that my theta can be any angle from 0 to 360. So I can go bigger than 225. And what we would have to do is a complete revolution and then come back to the 45. So if we add 360 to 45, we'll get 405. And then if we add 360 to the 225, that'll be a complete revolution and coming back to this angle in the third quadrant, um, we'll get 585. And I'm going to put a comma because I may have to go bigger now when I divide both sides by 3 here, 3 theta equal 405, dividing by 3, that gives me 135. And then 3 theta equals 585, divide both sides by 3 there, I'll get 195. And I can see that I still have a lot of room left. I'm 
I can go all the way up to 360. So I'm going to do two revolutions by adding another 360 to this angle. So that is 765. And then add 360 to this angle. That'll give me a 945. And then 3 theta equals 765, divide both sides by 3. This one gives me 255. And divide both sides here, 3 theta equals 945, divide by 3. That'll give me uh, 315. Now, 315 is very close to the upper limit of my domain, but I can go ahead and check to see if I can do any more. If I add 360 here, I'll get uh, 1, 2, 5, and then when I divide by 3, that's 300 and 75 and 375 is too big it's outside of my domain so I won't be needing this angle my theta then is this solution set 